Bien dias. Morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday, hump day in Mexico City. Today we're off to a place that, uh, I don't know, bald and bankrupt might have overbuilt it up on his uh, channel. Oh, shouldn't have gone into this area. We're going over to the uh, neighborhood called Tepito. Tepito here in Mexico City is where all the barrios are. It's own, it's, its own little world, self-government. I guess in the old days, when they still had the walled city in Kowloon over in Hong Kong, it would be kind of the equivalent. They do their own thing. It's an area where a lot of counterfeiting is done, where a lot of uh, uh, crime happens. Let's get a I hate these intersections. You never know if you have the walk sign or not.
like this. Put them on. Mira. Se bien, ¿verdad? Starting to get packed in here, guys. Starting to get packed in. Take your life in your hands crossing the streets. We're not at uh, Tepito yet, but the people don't uh, the people don't aggressively hawk you here because there's no tours over in this area of Garibaldi. So they pretty much leave you alone. It's kind of a nice, nice plus. It's also a heavy uh, police presence here too. These guys got flak jacks. These guys are full full body armor here. Full body armor. Kev, you know this is like 100% uh, everything here. Tommy Hilfiger, Ray Ban, Calvin Klein. It's all 100% knockoff. Yeah. This okay, market, look. Adidas. Yeah. The funny thing is, the government copyright and trade infringement office is right next door. <laughs> Three micheladas for a hundred for what is that? Uh, five dollars. I think I feel like people do after uh, after guys have played a rugby match. <laughs> I think that was so bounced around back there.
get the hell out of there. And you saw that last high shot that I did. What do you think, Kev? Come on back with me a second here. Good. Yeah, that land, that high shot that I did, turning three directions there, all of a sudden out of the woodwork comes uh, three guys with uh, walkie-talkies on them. I couldn't believe it. They come up to us, the person to walkie talkies, obviously they were gang control in uh, Tepito or whatever. So this area is still kind of a gang crazy. I got people looking at me here. We had to wait, make sure we were a half a mile out of that area before I dared record again. I guess a lot of these places don't have electricity. A lot of them are running generators and things, so. Pretty intense, huh, Kev? <laughs> I told you it would be. Yeah, that I like was. That I love that, yeah. Keeps your adrenaline going up. Got my adrenaline drawn because I didn't know how bad we were in trouble in there. We're kind of regrouping after, uh, after Kev got little noodles here at the uh, Chinese shop. I speak Cantonese, I speak Mandarin, so that's, <laughs> that's not happening. You know, guys, I did that high three-way shot. Boom, boom, boom. Well, let me tell you, first of all, Bald and Bankrupt did not go deep into the, the uh, barrio of Tepito like Kevin and I did today. It was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, man, you were out on the streets where there's vendors, where there's a chance where you might have regular tours coming up because the area where Kevin and I were today deep in when I took that high shot what happened next was unbelievable from out of like three directions guys came they had like vests on one guy was like a white lamb like a white lamb fur <laughs> vest on and they all had walkie talkies like cops up on their thing and they're talking to each other and they're telling Kev, uh, no, you can't do video, video. She's, she's got video on her on her camera. And, you know, thankfully, whenever I take like a risky high shot or something like that, I'll always uh, take what I call a chunker shot, just some short clip, just in case somebody comes up and tells me erase it, erase it. So sure enough, they come up and that's like, you can't film here. You can, you're telling Kev, you can't film here. That could have gotten bad, right? They could have said, well, let's, let's go, you know, and uh, go back to some warehouse on that street. Okay, take off your, all your clothes, give us your money, and hop in the back of his van, and pretty soon you're riding on the outskirts of Mexico. Uh, the city out there. So he's, the guy's like, oh, no, you got to race your, uh, you got to race the video. So I, you know, I watched, let him watch me erasing the one after the very big high shot that I, uh, that I took, but um, yeah, I think I certainly. What do you think, Kev? I think we went in further than Bald and Bankrupt oh, yeah. went. Yeah, we went much that deeper. Guy didn't go anywhere. That guy didn't go deep at all. That guy was just out on the out on the street area. We went. Uh, we, we, we went deep. Deep in there. And it could have gone a lot worse, but. Uh, it's, uh, it's very intense in there, and it's very controlled. That was like a well-oiled machine. Now, after after he saw me race and we went on our way, they had guys positioned with walkie-talkies down the street where we were walking, and they were kind of communicating to make sure that I wasn't doing uh, any more video in that barrio walking down the street, which I was tempted to, but when I saw the guys on walkie-talkie, I'm like, I better not press this thing. And, uh, uh, I got enough intense footage, <laughs> but uh, it just got so crowded and so crazy in there. It was just like, ah, uh, and then we're rolling out and there's 10 like police vehicles sweeping in with open top back vehicles and they're standing there, four on the back, of, like 10 trucks rolling into the, rolling into the area. So it got, uh, got pretty intense, our trip into Tepito, and I got to tell about it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thumbs up or appreciate it.
Ahorita está en la promo de Cubebocas, gente, chequen.